Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss insertion chord algorithm with example and we will trace the logic. So, this is the algorithm to implement insertion chord. So, the algorithm is short a given array by using insertion chord technique. Input is an array 0 to n minus 1 of n orderable elements. Output is array a of 0 to n minus 1 shorted on non decreasing order. So, here we are using a for loop. This is the outer for loop. For i equal to 1 to n minus 1, for example, here if you are considering in this sense, for i equal to 1 to n minus 1. So, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is of array a of 0 to a of 6, totally 7 elements. So, n is equal to 7 here. And for i equal to 1 to n minus 1. So, 1 to n minus 1 is 6 here. v equal to a of i. a of 1 position, this will be considered as v. And j will be considered as 89 initially, 0th location element. And this is the loop we are going to implement and actually this is the logic. So, while j greater than or equal to 0 and a of j greater than b, we have to exchange. If this condition is true in the sense, we have to assign a of j value to a of j plus 1 and then we have to decrement the j value here. Okay. So, this loop will execute until the condition, both the condition will be true. Once the condition fails in the sense, the loop will exit and it will assign v position value to a of j plus 1 position. The meaning is this loop, what it will execute in the sense of Initially, this will be the v position value and this will be the j value, okay. So, here this v and j value will be compared if this is a lesser element need to exchange here. This will happen with this logic, okay. Next iteration, this is first iteration. Second iteration, what will happen in the sense we have to consider this value as v and this element will be compared with the first position element and zero position element. At the end of this iteration, these three elements will be ordered. That is in non-decreasing order. And next third iteration, what will happen in the sense, consider 90 as V and that will be compared with the second position element, first position element as well as zero position element. And at the end of the third iteration, these four elements will be ordered. Likewise, in every iteration, will consider the next position element and this element will be compared with all the previous position elements by implementing this while loop logic and finally after n minus 1 iteration if you are considering in the sense all the elements in the given array will be ordered that is in non decreasing order. So, this is the logic of insertion short algorithm. Now, we will implement this logic with example. So, consider this is the given array and the elements here if you are considering in the sense this is a of 0, a of 1, a of 2, a of 3, a of 4, a of 5 and a of 6. So, n value here is totally 7 elements from 0 to 6th position. Okay. And this is the algorithm. We will implement for this algorithm initially. So, for i equal to 1 to n minus 1. So, for i equal to 1 to n minus 1 here is n value is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6 here. Okay. Then, v equal to a of i position. This one position is i value is 1. So, a of one position what is the value? It is 45. So, v is 45 and j is equal to i minus 1. So, here it is minus 1 we need to consider. j equal to i minus 1. i is 1. 1 minus 1 j value is 0. Next, implement while loop. While j greater than or equal to 0, j value is 0 greater than or equal to 0 and a of j position, this is 0, 0th position, a of 0th position value is 89. So, a of j position value is 89 greater than v is 45, condition is true. So, it will execute these two statements, that is a of j plus 1, j value is 0 plus 1, a of 1 position, we will assign a of j position value that is 89. And now j value will get decremented by 1. j value is already 0. Decremented in the sense it is minus 1. Next iteration if you are considering while j, j is minus 1 greater than or equal to 0, condition fails. So, loop will exit and it will come and execute this statement outside. So, here it will execute a of j plus 1. j value is minus 1 currently. At the last iteration, j value is minus 1. So, minus 1 plus 1. So, 0. 
a of 0 position, what is V value? 45 will be assigned. So, now the first iteration of for loop is over. So, at the end of first iteration, what happens? These two got exchanged. So, A of 0 position, we have assigned 45. A of 1 position, we have assigned 89. So, this is 45, 89 and then the remaining asset is 68, 90, 29, 34 and 17. We will get it. Next, second iteration. This is first iteration over. Second iteration for i equal to so second iteration for i equal to i gets incremented to 2 i equal to 2 2 6 v is equal to a of i a of i what is the value it is a of 2 position value is 68 and j value is i minus 1 it is 1 2 minus 1 1 so implement while loop while j greater than or equal to 0 1 greater than or equal to 0 and a of j position that is a of 1 position what is the value it is 89 a of j position 89 greater than v is 68 condition is true okay 1 is greater than or equal to 0 and 89 is greater than 68 then a of j plus 1 j is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 a of j plus 1 is equal to a of j a of 1 position, what is the value? 89. So, A of 2 position, we are assigning 89. J gets decremented by 1. J is already 1 decremented in the sense 0. Next iteration, while J is 0 greater than or equal to 0 and A of J position, A of 0th position, what is the value now? It is 45. So, 45 greater than 68. Condition fails here. Okay, it will come and execute the next statement. This is the now while loop will exit and it will come and execute this statement. That is a of j plus 1, j value is 0. 0 plus 1, a of 1 position, we have to assign v value. What is v value here? It is 68. So, at the end of second iteration, what it will happen? 0th position, 45 only will be there. First position 68 and A of second position 89 will be there. And next remaining elements 90, 29, 34 and 17. Okay. Next third iteration. So at third iteration we need to consider. So for I is equal to I gets incremented to 3. 3 to N minus 1, 6. Then V is equal to A of 3 position. What is the value? It is 90. And J value is I minus 1. I is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. Then while J is 2 greater than or equal to 0. And A of J position. A of J value is 2. A of 2 position value is 89. Greater than V value is 90. So here condition fails. Why? 2 is greater than 0. This is condition is true. But this condition is false because here if you are considering in the sense in every iteration from first position onwards we need to consider this element will be compared with this element. If it is not in order this will get exchanged. So it happens here. Now two elements 0th position element and first position element is in order now. Next consider the second position element and this second position element will be compared with the first position element and 0th position element. And that will be ordered in the second iteration. Okay. Third iteration. So, it is in order only from lower element to the highest element. Okay. This is an ascending order. Three elements already it is an ascending order. Fourth element if you are comparing in the sense. Fourth element is the greatest element compared to the second position element in the sense. What is the meaning? Among these three elements, the second position element is the greatest element. If you are comparing this element and this element and condition fails in the sense meaning is this is the greatest element compared to all the three elements. Okay, so here condition fails. No need to do anything. This statement will execute now. That is A of J plus 1. J value is 2. 2 plus 1 A of 3 position. What is V value? It is 90 only. 90 will be assigned. Now, this element occupied its position. So, fourth iteration, what we have to do it in the sense, we have to take the fourth position element and this element will be compared with third position element, next second position element and next first position element and next zeroth position element. 
and if you are implementing this logic in the similar way you will get in fourth iteration this 29 will occupy here next 45 will occupy next 68 will occupy next 89 will occupy next 90 will occupy so now five elements will get arranged again two more iteration if you are implementing in the same way these two elements also will be ordered finally after sixth iteration all the elements in the given array will be shorted in ascending order that will happen so this is the logic of this algorithm insertion short algorithm thank you for watching this video